Hey, how's it going? It's Russell James. In this week's video, we're gonna make a raw food classic. It's an absolute classic, aubergine or egg plant bacon. So this recipe does require a dehydrator, but it is really simple. If you've got a dehydrator, this is gonna be perfect for you. You could also do this in an oven on its lowest temperature. It's gonna take a lot less time and maybe be a little bit less raw, but you can certainly still do it. In the description below, I'll link up my video to using your oven instead of a dehydrator. So the first thing we're gonna need is our marinade, a nice smoky sweet marinade. So take a bowl, get your olive oil in there. Then we're gonna add some maple syrup, some onion and garlic powder, some cumin, then we want to give it some smoky notes to go along with that maple. So we're going to add in some chipotle chili, some chipotle chili powder and some beautiful smoked paprika. One of my favorite combinations of spices. And for our saltiness, we're going to add a little bit of salt, but then we're also going to add some depth of flavor with some tamari. Okay, get that whisked up. And what you're going to notice as you whisk it is that it's going to thicken up beautifully into a nice sticky marinade that's really gonna to stick to the, to the aubergine. Okay then, the aubergine itself, or you might know them as eggplants if you're in the US, we're gonna take the top off of that, then we're gonna slice that in half and slice it in half again so that you've got a quartered aubergine eggplant so that then we can get it on the mandolin and, uh, and slice it really thinly. Now with your mandolin, you're probably gonna to wanna to do a test slice. Get the thickness just right. It should be pretty thin, but not so thin that it completely falls apart. Get the whole thing sliced down. Once you've got all your slices, transfer them over into the marinade and start mixing those up. Then make sure you get them all completely covered. The salt itself and the tamari is gonna soften up those strips beautifully. So that then we can start placing those on our non-stick dehydrator sheet. And again, if you're using your oven, you can just use some baking parchment here. And I like to uh, kind of crinkle them up just before they go in. Get the whole sheet done, get your whole batch done. Depending on the size of the aubergine, it, it might go over the course of uh, one or two sheets, one or two trays. They're gonna go into the dehydrator. They can actually stay on the non-stick sheets because uh, they're pretty thin. You don't necessarily need to transfer them halfway through um, onto, a, onto a mesh sheet, but you can do, but ideally it's gonna take about 115 degrees Fahrenheit on a non-stick sheet, it's gonna take about uh, 12 to 14 hours. But you really can't overdo these. If you want them nice and, nice and crispy, you could leave them in there for 24 hours if needed. Okay, there you go. When you take them out of the dehydrator, you've got these beautiful, crisp aubergine or eggplant bacon strips. You can eat them as is, they're great for snacks. You can crumble them onto salads or you can use them in sandwiches. I've got some uh, bread recipes on my site. I'll link those in the description. These, uh, these aubergine bacon slices make great BLT sandwiches. So check those out. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe so you get notifications. Click the little bell and uh, you'll get notified of every time that we post a new video. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.